Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we return. We've been refining all of this stuff. I said I would organize stuff, didn't I? Yes, I did, but you know what? We'll get around to that eventually. In the meantime, there's a mini bike that we are in the process of making. And the goal of today, if I recall correctly, was to make that mini bike. We're going to try and get that treasure chest next, but also with uh, in terms of things we want to do today. We want to get ourselves a little bit of wood, but uh, in the meantime, let's see what stuff we can craft out of the mini bike. And once all that's crafted, we'll be good to go. So we got the handlebars, we need a headlights, electrical parts, short iron pipes, mini bike seat, leather, cotton, short iron pipes, and duct tape. So we're going to start grabbing some of the stuff that we like for sure need. So I know it's not mechanical, it's electrical, right? I, my memory is absolutely awful, so don't don't hate me here if I'm dumb. I know we need cotton. We got some cotton there. Let's see how the mini bike. We can get a mini bike seat. We just got to do it at a workbench, I think, and then we can make handlebars. So let's get to work on that seat, shall we? Mini bike seat. Bada bing, bada boom. Craft up one of those. Awesome. So we're gonna have the chassis, a seat, and next up on the list we need handlebars. So we gotta craft handlebars and get some headlights. If we want handlebars, all we need for this is one mechanical part and we're ready to roll. So actually, this might be a little bit quicker than I thought. Speaking of things that I thought, there is an airdrop going on. That airdrop is in the winter biome. That's where we gotta kill some frozen lumberjacks. We'll probably uh, head back there anyways. Uh, airdrop. Uh, 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 uh. Dude, I just, I just name them at this point. I gotta eventually go through and organize. Both of you guys are having yourselves an awesome day. I am doing A-OK. -okay. Could be doing better. Could be doing worse. But, you know. Just, uh, just enjoying life and whatnot. Um, what did I say we needed for handlebars? I think I grabbed what we needed, right? It was just the mechanical parts. Oh, no, I didn't grab them. I thought I did. Never mind. Mechanical parts there. Let's get those rolling. Then we can get a... Hand all bar. And after that's crafted, we should be good to go with that. Now we need the headlights. All right, so this is the part where we venture out. Because uh, I don't think we have any headlights in our actual storage. Because we did kind of toss them out that one time. We got more duct tape, though, which is always good. But, yeah, so we just got to go with a wrench so we can scrap stuff. We'll go with the wrench. So we can try and scrap up some cars and get ourselves a headlight. And then as soon as that's gotten, we uh, are going to be pretty good to go. Of course, we get to leave through here. Our beloved way of exiting the home now. All of our destroyed spikes, which we will fix eventually. Oh god, there's a lot. There's a lot to fix. Well, we'll get to fixing. In the meantime, though, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I already said how mine's going. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if I asked you how you guys is this. But yeah, just homework and now doing YouTube videos. And also my throat's starting to hurt a little bit, so I'm not too excited about that. Hopefully that buffs out. I really do hope that that buffs out. Any headlights yet? No. Okay. I think we can only get headlights from like full quality cars, but I'm not 100% sure on that. We're definitely not going to get it from a super crappy version, so... We gotta look for some perfectly intact cars, like this one. And then we're gonna go try to chop down some wood, and also, why don't we try to chop down wood on the way to the airdrop? Two birds, one stone. That's how I like to do it. I'm a multiple stone type of guy. You know? Oh, I really should've brought some water with it. I didn't realize how, how stupidly, not chapped, but how like, um, how dry my throat is right now. Never mind, I have like four water bottles next to me. Forgot those exist. So this is not giving me the most luck. I'm like really, really sure that you could get headlights from there. But at the same time, I don't know. And also, hmm, there's a chance. Uh, okay, we're going to go to the hardware store first, actually. Because I'm pretty sure we left behind some stuff there. And headlights may have maybe been one of the things we left behind. And then, worst case, we'll get some wood along the way. Uh, we're not going to be heading out to uh, to the winter biome for the airdrop. Or none of that multitasking. But I was talking about, we are going to make sure to continue looting the cars. And see if they have any headlamps actually like inside of them. 
Uh, but other than that, I mean, we're getting leather, we're getting scrap iron, and hopefully, eventually, street- not street lights, headlights. Although, I feel as if cars don't actually give it, maybe. Because this is not looking good, and I feel like we should have gotten a headlight by now. It's been- it's been a while, man. What are you hitting? Keep on hitting. You know, go get stuck. yeah, get stuck on the scrap metal. That makes my life even, even easier there, you zombie lady. I'm gonna go to this tool store first before we spend too much time. You know, it is all over the place before we spend too much time. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. I just realized we're in town, right? There's a certain breed of zombie dog that might come and try to get us. I'm gonna continue eating my nutritious yucca fruit so I can run forever. Uh, is there a perk to increase my speed? Because I might want to invest in that so I can outrun dogs. Because, like, there's a good chance we encounter some dogs here. Totally forgot about that. Okay. Lucky enough to actually not encounter dogs. I'm going to keep on looting any of these cars that we run by, though. Just to see if they have what we're looking for. I mean, hopefully I have it in the drop chest. I know I left an engine behind it and potentially... I have like, they, like, I remember thinking, okay, I'll come back here for my mini bike stuff. And I for sure know that there is an engine there. I'm just crossing my fingers right now. But there's also going to be some coal. Because we need some coal. Not coal. I don't know where coal came from. We need some headlights. In our life. We need the headlights to light up our lives. Make us right. Uh, nope. Okay, well that's okay. Worst case scenario. Alright, sorry about that. Guys, uh, my computer just conveniently ran out of hard drive space and Twitch started playing at the exact same time. Kind of a scary coincidence, but I deleted some stuff. We're good to go again, and I'm actually going to attempt to crack open some water because, oh my god, I need this. I didn't realize how thirsty I am. Mm. Ah, unprofessional, I know. Game. Perfect opportunity right now to send a dog at me, you know? I want to put it beneath you to this be the time. I think we can get what we're looking for, though, out of garages. So let's go ahead and break into some garages. I, I'm pretty sure, like, the boxes... Okay, there are no garage boxes here. I was mistaken. I was gonna say the boxes and garages have a good chance of having headlights. Uh, can I eat you? Yes, I can. Gonna, I, I don't want to take you with me, but I don't want to leave you behind. So, I think garage boxes are a good bet. Unfortunately, I don't know what else is a good bet. I've never really went out of my way to find headlights. I usually, whenever it's mini bike time, I kind of just have them on me. And this is the mistake I get for kind of uh, procrastinating on that. And the zombie that was there did not pay too much attention to us, luckily enough. Someone said... If I, uh, first things first, scrap some stuff. Um, so someone said, I will I drop something. I'll drop that, right? Uh, someone said something interesting, right? That apparently if I wrench this, a bird's nest, I get something like that I wouldn't expect. And I don't know what that is. You get feathers out of wrenching it. Okay, and cloth. So yeah, fun fact, if you wrench it, thank you to whoever mentioned this in the comments, you get a combination of plant fiber and all of this shenanigans. So that's kind of cool, but not really useful for me at this very moment. Uh, we're going to continue scrapping everything. A corpse is kind of a solid sign at times. Okay, okay, okay. Um... I'm I thought we had all the magnum parts back home, but I will take that either way, just in case. Still looking for the mythical headlight. But this is the way that seven days works. When you need something, thou shall not find it. When you don't need something, thou shall drown in it. This is how it works. Okay, I can tell you from experience. That's exactly how seven days to die works. Can we take a second to appreciate how much of a, like, poop hole this place is? Look at those fences. It's the most, like, discolored, just ew. How could you live in this? I thought, like, there's a, this is, like, such a nice town, right? There's, like, a hospital right here. Imagine how high property values must be. And, you know, they can't, they don't even do, like, a wooden fence. That's kind of, that's, that's odd to me. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe the fence magically transformed into scrap metal during the zombie apocalypse for usefulness sake. And speaking of usefulness, we are not getting what we need to be useful. Those headlights are really evading us. And okay, well in the meantime, I will try to chop down a couple of trees here. That's the box I'm looking for. I I definitely remember. Is that a Oh no, that's a dog over there. Oh yeah, we're just gonna run very far away. I don't want to deal with that dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go away, chop down some trees, enjoy life before dogs start coming after me, <laughs> and then we'll get back back home. We got a couple hours here, so we'll get there in lickety split amounts of times. I'm just trying to really, really dip out just a little bit. Oh hello, piggy. How are you? We are safe now. Okay. Awesome news. Now. I'm really trying to think here. I'm trying to recall. Everyone, send me your power. You know? Send me your power. Through the comments. Or or just magically. I don't know. Like, if you watch Doctor Strange, use some Doctor Strange magic. Send me some power. My brain is currently thinking. You know, while we're doing this, I'm trying to utilize my brain. And figure out what, where the hell, where the hell to go. In the meantime, though, we're gonna definitely stock up on wood because that's the big reason we came out here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, all I can remember is cars and garage boxes. I feel as if there's a third way. Oh, can I get this to collapse on her? Oh, please, please, that would be amazing. Lady, nurse lady, do I have a surprise for you? Aw, didn't kill her. That's okay. I got what I wanted. It's from looting cars. I don't know. Because we've been taking apart a couple of cars. I remember I get it somehow from cars. I think I have to loot cars. And then garage boxes. Those are the only things that possibly come to mind. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to, that's why I've been going into and out of the boxes. I'm going to continue doing that. And I mean, we still got a couple hours of daytime here before we really got a dipperoni. Oh no, we got it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay. Get over here, doggy. Ow, of course. There we go. Thank God we can one hit it. <gasps> oh, thank God we have first aid kits. Woo! That's why you always carry a first aid kit on your kids. Actually, I don't know. Maybe if you're a kid, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know how like useful a first aid kit might be. This is why you always carry a sledgehammer, regardless of age, though. Sledgehammers. That dude just like did something weird with his pelvis that sketched me out. Sledgehammers always good, regardless of situation. Look at that. You can just knock someone out. She's not dead. She's sleeping. I don't kill people. I just kind of, you know, give them. Very high quality naps. At least that's the goal. I, I mean, I never like follow up to see if my patients are okay. I just kind of assume that since they haven't contacted me, everything's okay. Because you, you guys remember like that, you know, like uh, uh, scientifically speaking, people are more likely to, you know, voice their opinion if it's negative or if they <laughs> explosions or if they want to complain. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I don't. I, you know, negative stuff is a complaint, and since they haven't complained, they are obviously healthy. And she's obviously very dead. Oh, she just had a seizure on the ground. I feel awful. How did I miss that? There we go. Oh, the day that the sledgehammer breaks. Hello, you. You. Yes, yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. What do I get rid of for this? Um, steel arrows. That's kind of nice. Cotton has to go. Shotgun shells are coming with. Pine seeds go. Bullets are coming with. And then cloth goes. Arrows are coming with. Hell yeah. And that is some quality. Uh, we got another cardboard box. Nothing but a steel arrowhead. Might as well scrap that. Again, our luck is not good, but I mean, it's a good excuse to loot around and actually check out what our surrounding area here is like. And honestly, it's very interesting to 
actually get to explore and see what the neighborhood is like. It's it's a nice neighborhood, man. It's very nice, except for the whole uh, lack of headlights. See, it, it was a very safe community until everyone stopped using their headlights and then all got into crashes and died. That's why it's so empty. Not the zombie apocalypse. The lack of headlights. Okay, so here's the garage storage box that I was talking about. Do you have what I... I'll take paper, we need that for bullets actually. I'll take water, we need that to not die. I'll take some water in real life too. Hmm. I don't think it'd be a headlight in a tra- no. No. You know, I feel like I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna check the one chest inside of the old area we used to store stuff in. And there is gonna be a headlight there. I'm gonna feel very stupid. And I'm gonna know the comments before they happen. Just calling me out for being so dumb. Uh, nothing gonna be in there. I should be looking for some more cars. There's not really gonna be any cars on this back alley though. We've explored like a lot of the town too. Um, yeah, our best bet is honestly, I should probably, okay. I was gonna say I could peek through these windows and see if there's garage storage inside. There's not. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the central road. Look for the cars. Isn't this where the dogs was? Oh no, hold up. There's a little miniature horde there. We've we've drawn some heat towards us. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm gonna circle around this away real quick. I'm gonna see if this outskirt of town has any cars. We just need one headlight. You know, I don't like we could we could just pull what this town did. Not use any headlights, but the game doesn't allow us. You know, there's safeties, laws, and regulations. And if the game thinks that we're going to break them, we're dead wrong. The game will force us to be safe. Unfortunately for us, that just kind of delays the process a lot. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, we already looted that because that was on the way here. I will check out this area. Uh, but ultimately, I think we're just going to be disappointed and have to head back home. The Twitchers are always so spooky. They're weird. They're very strange individuals. That's the sound of a dog coming. Oh, yippee ki -yay, man. yippee ki -yay. I'm not thirsty either. Okay. We're good. We got away from the dog. I hear the dog breaking things. No. No. Uh, who let the dogs out? Who the hell let the dogs out? I hear him getting out. I don't know. We're getting away from there. I wish I could just exterminate all the dogs that live here. They're the bane of my existence. The headlight struggle is real. Next episode, we will definitely... I don't want to say definitely, because the headlight is seriously the only thing that's stopping us right now. But by next time... Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Hello puppy. Hello puppy. How are you? Okay, that thing's dead. I'm bleeding again. Surprise, surprise. Said no one. Oh my god, another one. DJ Khaled, get the hell out of here. Ow. Ow, he's doing some- ow. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We got a lot of heat on us. We gotta get out of here. We got to get the hell out of here. And we gotta get back in a- Back in a safe- Is that another doll? No. No, it's not. Ugh, this car maybe like that would be very fitting, but very annoying, but I would take it <sighs> Yeah, so the whole uh Whole loop around town, you know, that was did like a zigzag loop to loop type ritualistic shape and uh, you know, we started right there and uh, I, I No dog no go away dog go away Thank you! I got the dog before- Oh no, how do I get in here again? Okay, I do not have the time to be salty right now. Thank you. 
How many dogs are there today? Holy cow. Oh no. Hey, we're very hunt uh, still. Mm. It's 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 okay. It's a okay. I <sighs> Well, by next episode we'll be riding a mini bike at the very least, but uh Today, we're gonna be salty about a mini bike and the fact we could have been riding one today, but we got what we needed. And just to see if I can get even more salty than I am right now. Also, it sounds like these zombies are really not happy with their fortifications. Uh, if there's a headlight in here, it's like no headlights, right? No headlights. Okay. Thank you. That would have been. Even worse for us. That would have just made us look stupider than else. But we're done. The angers. I, I think they're inside the hospital again. Oh my god. Who? Larry, stop letting them in. Gosh darn it. Let's put away the brass. Put away the iron. There we go. We got the three. Three essentials. We'll put away the coal too. And let's do... The, uh, the handle mini bike. I don't I have what I need? The normal handlebars. Oh, yeah, those are there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Boom shakalaka. Craft it. And we got the mini bike seat. Chassis. We got all of the parts ready to assemble. I'm going to put all of them in here. We got a awful shopping basket. Solid mini bike. Two small engines that we are going to repair together. I think the zombies kind of chilled their nips a little, which is good. Uh, put these two together and we get an even better result. Yay, yay. We got our handlebars, we got our engine, we got the lead car battery. We have everything that we need, right? This is literally everything that we need. Yes, there, I don't think we've forgotten anything. We got the chassis, the handlebars, the seats, the battery, engine. There's the engine. Not the best engine. I'll take it. We got some gasoline and that right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Our transportation will be easier. How much easier and not, uh, like, mm, debatably so. Why, you might ask? Well, there's kind of the problem of the quality is really poopy, but that's okay. Let's, let's, if we level up our looting, though, we should be able to actually get some better stuff. Unfortunately, we can't get the next level of quality Joe for another three levels of scavenging. However... That's okay, I'll buy three levels of the stuff. Get our quality Joe up. Hell yeah. Mmm, don't do that. That's weird. Better items in the secret stash. No thanks. Loot faster. Eh. What I want to know here... What makes me run faster? Stamina degrade. Thirst dehydrate. Ooh, thirst would be good. Uh, which one's the... Sexual Tyrannosaurus. The survivor. Yeah, I like having as little food to worry about as possible. Boom. Literally. Wellness gain, 100% from food. 50% less degradation. That's really good for us. We got four points left. We'll do that accordingly. But anyways, that is going to go ahead and do it for me for this episode, I think. Uh, other than that, though, we just got to survive the night time. And then on the other end of the night, we will build stuff. I will hopefully actually remember... Big if here. Big if. Hopefully I actually remember to organize stuff a little bit. We still have the sniper rifle, which is insane news to me. Uh, we have some 9mm rounds. I don't know where I put the pistol. I had a pistol. I don't know what happened. Is it in the other? It might be in the other chest. It has to be. And just kind of uh, continue continue organizing stuff and hopefully making, making sense of all this. But our shotgun shells are up. We got more paper. Uh, we should have more gunpowder, and that means if we have more buckshot, then we can craft shotgun shells. Yes. Oh, and a cold beer sign. That's interesting. So let's get that crafting. And I really don't like the sound of these zombies. They're they're all up in our grill. But anyways, it's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. We will return in the other day, or every other day, like I've been doing lately, and I think I'm going to stick to 
And uh, hopefully I do not start getting sick, because that's how my throat's feeling. So I'm going to make sure to stay super hydrated. I wish me the best of luck in the apocalypse. Dude, imagine getting sick in the apocalypse. That would suck. A, because you might think you're getting infected. B, like, you gotta, you gotta run from zombies and stuff. It's not easy. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.